Hello. What's going on, Tube? You welcome back to the Plot Coalition YouTube channel. Today we are going to be talking about animation. So you're thinking about getting into animation. You don't really know where to start. And you're like, what do I do? Well, this video will hopefully get you started on a good path. We're going to be talking about mainly uh, motion capture animation, but we will be touching on some hand animation stuff as well. Now, first and foremost, right out of the gate, if you haven't heard of or haven't studied the 12 principles of animation, I strongly recommend that you do so because this will help you get a good understanding for animation as you get started. It's a really good basis to get started on, and I would even recommend, just like before anything else, get used to just drawing stuff, you know? kind of figure out what things look like in motion. You don't have to be like a phenomenal artist. It can be stick figures. It can be a round ball, whatever. Just work on practicing like, why does this work? Why does this look good? Old flash animations from like way back internet days. Like, you know, all that stuff is a good place to just start to get an understanding of the principles. But we're gonna be jumping into some practical applications where you can start animating today. Nice. We're not going to be talking a ton about software applications, but I do recommend if you're just getting started, either Unreal Engine or Blender. They both have fantastic tools, and plus there's a ton of free resources and assets that you can start using today in both programs. So definitely explore that a bit because it's a phenomenal way to get started on your animation journey. Now, if you've been following the channel for a while, you might recognize this. This is a motion capture suit from my good friends over at Rococo, but not everybody has access to a motion capture suit. So this is gonna go over how you can get started without one. And speaking of Rococo, I do wanna give them a quick shout out because they sent me this head rig for our most recent project, which is a Red Dead Redemption inspired short film. So if you're interested in that, definitely check it out. Rococo is a fantastic, fantastic company. This is a really high quality head rig. They also just came out with the head cam which I believe is available for pre-order, which comes with a stereo camera built into it, which is fantastic. But this has really great build quality. It's really well weighted. So if you're into motion capture animation, VTube and anything like that, definitely go to the affiliate link in my description to check them out. But but this but, but this is but this but this, but this is all about the beginners and you might but this is all about the beginners and you might not necessarily be looking to be spending money right out of the gate. But if you go to that same affiliate link, you can also head over to Rococo and download Rococo Studio. Now it is totally free to download and it's totally free to set up an account and they have some free animations that you can get started with today. They are recorded on their hardware. It all looks great. It's been cleaned up. So you can start using that today to start learning about animation through their motion capture assets that they have available. In addition, they also have a software called Rococo Vision, which uses a webcam or a video file to generate motion capture using AI. So you set it up, you perform whatever action you want to perform, and then it can track that data and spit it out as motion capture for you. Now they do have two versions of this, a paid one, which allows you to use multiple angles, and a free one that allows you to just use a single angle, but it still gives really great results. So I would definitely check that out. The next resource has been around for quite a while and that is Mixamo by Adobe. Now this is something that they created a number of years ago and it's still available online. You can go to Mixamo.com. You just have to have an Adobe account and put that information in and you have access to hundreds of motion capture assets as well as a few dozen characters that you can start animating with right out of the gate. You can download them with the animations attached or you can use those animations to retarget to your own custom characters. In my Titanfall New Frontier series, I actually used a ton of Mixamo assets for background characters to pull off some stunts that we weren't able to record with our own motion capture and to just fill out the world a little bit more. So definitely, definitely go check it out. It's a fantastic resource and you get tons of animations that you can blend together to make some unique, unique stuff. There are thousands of animations available and a lot of them might actually fit most of your needs. So it's a great place to go and explore, see what's out there. And the great thing about doing this in animation in 3D is it's really hard to spot when a animation has been used more than once. So you can get a lot of variety 
and get one animation to stretch you a good ways. So, Mixamo comes in clutch. Ooh. Is this clutch anymore? What's that? Freaking cringe, bro. What's that? Well, oh, that's going in the video. My next suggestion is great if you already own an Oculus Quest, an Oculus Quest 2, or an Oculus Quest 3, and that is a program called Glycon 3D. This is actually how I got started in motion capture animation. I had my Oculus Quest, and I was like, you know, I move around, I get data technically through the controllers and the headset. Maybe I can convert that into animation. And sure enough, there's this application called Glycon 3D. I haven't used it in a couple of years, but when I was using it, it was pretty intuitive and it did provide motion capture. Granted, this is only coming from your hands and your head and everything else is generated off of that, but it does look pretty decent. So it's definitely something to look into. If you have an Oculus Quest, you can use it to generate some motion capture, which is custom to your character. And they also do have some hand tracking features, so that might be something that you can use as well. But if the hand tracking isn't working for you, they do have mapped input controls for the controllers, so you can do things like open and close the hands, different things that you're able to do in the Oculus Quest in real time. So that is a resource that I would highly, highly recommend. You can pretty easily bring it into Blender, and then bam, you have your animation and you can retarget it to your character. And unlike Mixamo or Rococo's pre-recorded library, this will allow you to record motion capture that is custom to whatever you're doing. Granted, it's gonna be mostly talking because it's going to try to auto-generate the leg movement as you move your head around. But generally speaking, you're gonna be able to get pretty good motion capture just based off the hands and head if you're just looking to get started. Moving right along, we're jumping into a software called Cascadeur. Now this is a fantastic piece of animation software because it allows you to do a lot of different things at a professional level, but in a very accessible way. In addition to its auto rigging and IK tools, it allows you to start animating by essentially setting your key poses and then it begins to fill in the in-betweens intelligently, but rather than just trying to move from A to B, it's going to try to make that feel like natural motion and it also updates with physics and secondary motion. So if somebody moves into a position pretty quick, it'll be able to intelligently set some secondary animation that would bounce that rather than it just stopping, which is super cool. It's also really great for animation because you can bring in a video of yourself for reference and overlay it so you can start animating on top of that to really get the motion down. Now this is a piece of professional studio grade software. So their free version is limited and you can pay for larger versions of it. But if you're just getting started out, you can definitely start using the free version, get some short animations and really start to understand what you like about animation and then go from there. Also, I know my shelves are empty. I'm working on 3D printing stuff to put on here, but yeah, for now they're empty. There's absolutely zero reason I had to say that. All right, I don't want to throw too much out there because I know if you're just getting started, it can be overwhelming to get hit with just like a bunch of like now go out and do all these things. So I do want to wrap it up neatly by also suggesting that anybody who's interested in animation to check out the YouTube channel Doodly. This is a fantastic YouTube channel that talks a lot about the principles of animation. It talks about different updates in the animation world and the person who runs it just seems like a genuinely fantastic person. So definitely check out their YouTube channel, give them some support, and uh, you might learn a thing or two. Every one of their uploads certainly teaches me something new, whether it be minor or major, so definitely check them out. And that's another fantastic thing about this day and age is on the internet, there are unlimited resources to continue learning. There are some fantastic YouTubers out there that are providing tons of insight all of the time. This is how I got around in animation and 3D rendering was just simply going into YouTube, finding these creators and beginning to learn directly from them. So I'd highly recommend checking them out as well. And another fantastic thing about the current day and age is that we live in an era where ChatGPT exists. So if you ever run into a problem that you can't find the answer to on a forum, you could always plug that into ChatGPT and ask it if it has a solution. Now, it might not always be correct, but it can certainly put you on the right path. I know I have done this a bunch with Unreal Engine just because there is so much to it and not everybody has found the solution to every single problem. So sometimes I go to ChatGPT, just ask it, what I'm doing wrong or how I can set something up and it usually corrects the issue. Hey everyone, 
I just want to give a quick shout out to ChatGPT. It's an amazing resource for learning animation, whether you're using Blender, Unreal Engine, or any other tool. If you run into any issues, you can ask ChatGPT and it'll give you technical answers and potential solutions. Seriously, it's like having a knowledgeable friend available 24-7 to help you out. So next time you're stuck or need some advice, just reach out to ChatGPT. Trust me, it can make your animation journey so much smoother. It's strange times we do be living in. All right, but with all that, hopefully this helps you get started on your animation journey. Now there are tons more resources out there. So if you know of one that I didn't touch on in this video, definitely comment it down below so that other people that are getting started in their animation journey can also take those resources and begin learning from them. <laughs> With all that, I do want to give a huge shout out to my members for making this channel possible and continuing to support me. If you'd like to support me by becoming a member, you can certainly do so by clicking subscribe and then pressing join. Then you can sign up and become a member and you get these cool little dinosaur stickers and a bunch of other perks. But I should have had you at dinosaur stickers. So why haven't you become a member yet? Just a question, just a question. But if you watch this far into the video, thank you so much. That truly does help as well. Consider giving a like, leaving a comment, and uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. You've watched all of the video now, so I guess you can go find something else to do. I'm just gonna sit here and keep talking. Oh look, end cards? What are those? I rarely put those at the end of my videos, but every time that YouTube sends me a weekly recap of what I should be doing, they're like, why haven't you added end cards? So now there's end cards at the end of my video. I'm just gonna keep talking until it cuts me off because it only has a limit of 20 seconds and I'm not sure how long I've been talking. It probably cut me off a while ago, but that's okay. So now I'm gonna